Hi, welcome to Air Engine Research. For new viewers, my channel is dedicated to development and construction of an air motor that could be used in a modern vehicle by just removing the engine, adding a tank with compressed air, and be able to drive that vehicle. But I thought I'd go back and pull up some of the old videos that I had made while I was trying to develop the Volvo air engine. I had a number of different combinations and some worked pretty well, some didn't work very well at all. But I'll let you just take a look and you can make up your mind how well they worked or how well they didn't. If you're interested in what I'm doing, I'd appreciate your subscribing and when you see a video or hear some of my ideas, I'd appreciate if you'd give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down so I know how well I'm, I'm doing. So why don't we go ahead and look at some of these old videos and maybe laugh a few times. It was a four cylinder model that I tried. It worked pretty well too, but it's got quite a few moving parts and fairly complicated so over the years I decided not to work on that one. Okay, over the past week or so I've been working on the uh, valve assembly right here trying to make it more compact and more easily assembled and disassembled if I need to work on something so I think I've got that pretty well done and I've also included an upper and lower seal in there now so that the air doesn't leak around the valve I also tried a different valve version on this uh, one too and it worked pretty good too but again it was leaking air and having more problems with a lot more parts and complicated so I didn't, didn't continue with that one either. The next version is a six cylinder that has what I call a push pull slider valve. I had a lot of trouble with that leaking so that was not a good good option although it ran pretty well. Okay now I have all six uh, cylinders put together and in running order but I still have the problem with the outer uh, ring making contact with the pistons at all times.
That's how it goes. Small test with rotor number five for timing and location. Today I have the two cylinders mounted, one here, one over here, and I'm trying to find out where the correct position would be to make sure that it starts in every, every time without pushing it manually. So I just have to keep trying it and see where it stops. In most cases it works. There's the problem. It just isn't quite pushing it far enough. Well, that was just a quick uh, look back at some of the things I've worked on over the past few years. Um, appreciate you checking in. And if you're a subscriber or a new subscriber, please be sure you've checked the bell to make sure you get notified. I'll be making some new videos here in the next month or so. I'm sure you don't want to miss those. So until then, thanks again. Bye-bye.